Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go up to the bar here and type CMD and enter to open up the Windows command prompt. Then to rename a file, type REN, which stands for rename. Then you need to type the name of the file that you want to change, plus the extension inside quotation marks. So say I want to change the name of this file here called total, I need to do open quotation marks, total.xls, then close quotation marks. Then I need a space, and then I need to type in the name that I want to change the file to, plus the file extension inside quotation marks. So I'm going to do open quotation marks, then I want to change the name of this file to summary.xls, and then close quotation marks and enter. And now you'll see that the name of this file has changed to summary. Now we need to figure out a way of doing this to multiple different files all at once. And that is where Excel comes in. So the first thing is to get a list of all of the file names in this folder. And I'm going to do that by typing dir space forward slash b and enter. And now I have a list of all of the file names. Then the next thing I'm going to do is click and drag this to select all of the names and control C to copy. Then open up Excel and control V to paste. The next step is to get a list of all of the file extensions on their own. So I'm going to copy this again and paste it in here. Then I will use the keyboard shortcut Control H to open up the Find and Replace box. And I will be searching for an asterisk symbol and a full stop and replacing this with just a full stop. And what this will do is remove everything on the left hand side of the full stop, which is the file name in this case. And I'll be left with just the file extension. So I'll go replace all and OK and close. And now I have a column with just the file extensions in. Then in the next column, I have a list of all of the names that I want to change the files to. And I need to take these names and combine them with the file extension. So I'm going to do equals the new name here, then use the and symbol to combine this with the file extension. And now I have the new names with the extensions added on the end. Then if I go back to Windows Command Prompt, you'll see that all of the file names need to have quotation marks around them. So the next thing I'll do is to create a whole column with just quotation marks in it. Then I can do equals quotation mark and then take the new file name and then add another set of quotation marks onto the end of this. And then I have the new name with the file extension inside quotation marks. I also need to do this with the old names as well. So I'll do equals quotation mark and the old file name and then add another quotation mark onto the end. And then I'll click and drag this down to get the old file names inside quotation marks. Then you'll also see here that at the beginning I need REN here, REN, which stands for rename. So I'm going to type REN in here and double click to fill that down the rest of the column. Then I also need a space between every one of these components. So I'm going to add a space in there and then press enter and then double click to send that down. You can't see it, but there is now a space in every single one of these cells. And then I can combine all of these parts together. So it will be equals ren and then a space and then the old file name in quotation marks and then another space and then finally the new file name and enter. And then I'll double click to send this down. And now I have ren at the beginning and then the name that the file currently is. And then at the end, I have the name I want to change the file to. Now I can select all of this and control C to copy. Then open up Windows Command Prompt 
and control V to paste. And it will take a second, but you'll see now all of the file names in this folder have changed. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to rename multiple files at once using Windows Command Prompt and Excel. I have made a previous video showing you how to make the same change to multiple different file names at once using Windows PowerShell. And that is everything.